How's it going guys? We have a medium difficulty question for biochemistry for step one. This diagnosis all over the NBME exams, exceedingly high yield. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now start the clip. Four-year-old boy, six-month history of recurrentitis media and upper respiratory tract infections. He has history of cognitive impairment. Physical exam shows a patospinal megaly. Analysis of cutaneous fibroblasts shows inclusion bodies and deficiency of N-acetylglucosamine 1-phosphotransferase. Question wants to know what's most likely to be seen in this patient. And we have a bunch of biochemistry obscure answer choices here. Let's just whip through them. Choice A, increased dermatan and heparan sulfates. Wrong fucking answer. These are, gly these are glycosamine or glycans, GAGs. These would be increased in uh, children who have Hurler or Hunter syndrome. Okay, uh, Both of those can present with gargoyle-like facies, strider, aggressive behavior. Hurler is worse than hunter. Okay, so hunters can see the X. So because hunters can see the X, hunter is the one that's X-linked recessive. Hurler is autosomal recessive. Because hunters can see the X, hunters does not have clouded corneas. Hurler's is the one that has clouded corneas. Low yield, as I said, students get hysterical when we talk about these uh, fancy sounding diagnoses. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, increased glucose cirrhosis, wrong answer. This refers to Gaucher or Gaucher disease. Uh, this is an important lysosomal storage disease. You should know that if you get, this is cutting to the fucking chase. If you get a big fucking paragraph on the US Simile and it's something related to a lysosomal storage disease, okay? If they mention anything about bone problems, such as avascular necrosis of the femoral head, or they mention uh, crumpled paper macrophages or wrinkled paper macrophages, very uh, colloquial and buzzy. That refers to Gaucher or Gaucher. Okay, so deficiency of glucose cerebrosidase with increased glucose cerebroside. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, increased GM2 gangliocide. This refers to Tay Sachs. So deficiency of hexose aminidase. Once again, uh, it's low yield, but resources tend to emphasize these as though they're high yield. You could just know that Tay-Sachs is going to be a young kid that has uh, visual loss, okay? And you can get a cherry red spot in the macula and you don't have hepatosplenomegaly. So in Neiman Pick, okay, deficiency of sphingomyelinase, buildup of sphingomyelin versus Tay-Sachs, deficiency of hexosaminase A, buildup of GM2 gangliocide. Neiman Pick is the longer name, right? Neiman Pick's the longer name than Tay-Sachs. So hepatosplenomegaly is a longer word. So or is a long word. So Neiman Pick is the one that has hepatosplenomegaly. Tay-Sachs does not have a hepatosplenomegaly, but they both have cherry red spout in the macula. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, increased serum acid hydrolysis is the correct answer. Okay, this is eye cell disease. Uh, exceedingly high yield on the NBME exams for step one. In fact, this is the, I can just come out and say straight up, this is the highest yield lysosomal storage disease on USMLA step one. And the reason I know that objectively, not my fucking opinion, is because I've gone through all the fucking NBME exams and I've literally organized all the questions by subject. And it's this disease, eye cell disease, that shows up more than any other lysosomal or even glycogen storage disease. Okay. Eye cell disease. It's all over the place. So this is a bit of, of a weird disease to explain because the prob, even though it's a lysosomal storage disease, the problem is at the Golgi apparatus. So there's an inability. We have a deficiency of this obscure enzyme. Not my fucking opinion. This is on one of the NBME questions. They say this enzyme in the vignette. So you can either know this obscure enzyme, a deficiency causes eye cell disease, or you can be aware that at the Golgi apparatus, there's an inability to produce mannose 6-phosphate. There's an inability to phosphorylate the 6 position on mannose, and you need mannose 6-phosphate for whatever fucking reason to be able to tag lysosomal enzymes at the Golgi to have them go to the lysosomes. And if you can't do that, those lysosomal enzymes, they can't go to the lysosomes, and instead they're secreted outside the cell into the plasma, which we have here. Okay, and if they mention this in vitro, doing some sort of experiment, they'll say increased acid hydrolases or lysosomal hydrolases in the extracellular space, in the culture medium. Okay, so they can give you a vignette and they can say there's 
uh, contractures. They can say coarse facial features, arthritis. That's what they like to mention. But they can give you a, a vignette just like this. Okay, so they want you to know that this is eye cell disease. And as I just described, the problems at the Golgi, even though it's a lysosomal storage disease, and you're going to get increased acid hydrolases, increased lysosomal hydrolases in the extracellular space. I'll just finish this last answer here. Swollen rough endoplasmic reticulum, wrong fucking answer. Uh, this has shown up. They'll give you some sort of science experiment where they just say uh, proteins located at the uh, RER cannot be targeted to the Golgi. Uh, what would be seen in the cell and answers just swollen rough in a plasma particular not complicated not dramatic okay you can be aware that cop2 is a protein that uh, helps shuttle uh, other proteins from the RER to the Golgi uh, Golgi back to RER is cop1 absolute nonsense okay absolute nonsense in terms of yieldness wrong fucking answer you know the deal I'm going to continue making more content if you like my stuff subscribe my channel and I appreciate your time. That's it.